Hi, this is Fee and I'm about to prep for uh, my leopard to go in um, on a canvas and to do an acrylic pour, a two part epoxy acrylic pour. So this is uh, the setup stages, that, setup steps that I do to put it onto a canvas. Okay, so the preparation. So this is uh, the leopard that I did, diamond painting, 30 by 40. And he is going to go onto this canvas. And it is a stretched canvas. I've got to do a few things to this before I put him on there. And... So we will start, I'll put him aside, and I'm not sure, I think I might time lapse some of this uh, as I work my way through, because uh, it does take a bit of time. First thing you do with a stretch canvas, because on my first pause I didn't do this correctly, so when I did my first two diamond paintings they, they, um, Thing, the canvas actually went in so it was curved so therefore when I poured the resin it settled in the middle and didn't go over the edges with the first pour so first step is to actually stretch the canvas for what I've seen I've seen so many different ways of people putting these in and um, never quite sure how the correct process is I I'm going to go with what worked for me, for one that I've already set up. But what you've got in the bottom of these canvases, you can see the lugs go, these lugs, or whatever they are, go into these holes. And they actually stretch the canvas out. So you can see them there on the corner. I've seen the first ones I did, I put the lugs like that. Um, hang on. Like that. And that I think <laughs> can't even get that right <laughs> but I've seen others where they are done like that and like that and so I'm gonna do it this way this time and see how we go I don't have a little hammer I'm just gonna push this in just to get it in initially what I do have <laughs> is my <laughs> trusty roller which I find works really well to get them. So see how that's sitting square we'll just place these all in just to get them in and then I'll go around and bang them always there's a top and a bottom hole so it's always easier if you do the bottom Obviously the bottom hole first. Do, do, do. And here we go. Oh, come off it. I have a bad I have bad judge of distance, which means when I try to get some things in holes, it doesn't work. Could also mean that this is... No, there we go. Okay, so they're all in. I just need to bang them all in. So I will fast forward this bit. And then um, I will talk to you once this is done. Okay, so that is done. If I turn this over, this has actually got a, I don't know if you can hear it. It's got a, like a drum sound, so it is a bit tighter. It may still drag, 
but I've got um, something else to do to sort that one out, which I'll bring to you. I have found the cardboard just from, yeah, look how rough this is. This is just something I've quickly made up. This I've done as an insert, which I'll put in here. I've done it like that, so that then that will also stop the art resin from causing this to dip down. I'm doing everything I can to try and get this perfectly straight and these are learnings from the first time I did it. Okay, so that's that side of it. The next is preparing the edges and the tape on the back. I'm sorry if you can hear a noise in the background. There's two of them. One is my puppy dog, good old Bo. And the other is uh, my washing machine, which will finish very shortly. I just didn't want to wait for it. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is paint the edges and then I'm going to put the painter's tape. So just 3M painter's tape. Um, and I'll explain that when I've done it. So it is at um, Spotlight, I presume any other sports... Uh, Sports, ha ha. Craft stores. Um, you get this. So this is just acrylic paint. This is the black. And I'm using one of my good shooter cups, at, as in the plastic ones I use and throw out anyway. And I'm just gonna whip my brush down. What I'm doing is the main aim is to whoops that's not what I wanted to do here we go the main aim of this I'll put that aside is so that I was going to make that black I'm not going to I'm going to protect that so the black doesn't go on it. what I do want is the black on here and just on the edges so I'll do the painters tape first that means then the paint won't go on the canvas So painter's tape and I need to line this up for myself to see. I put that right on the edge and I need loosely, very loosely touch that on there. And I'll do the other end. I'm not pressing it down hard in any way at this stage. Okay, so that's just loosely on. What I do have now is those two sides, top and bottom, have been done. And I'm just going to cut the edges so that's nice and so that it's not over the edge. Me and sticky tape, we don't get on it. I hate it sticking to my fingers. But we've got to use it. Okay. Right. Doesn't matter that this is in. What does matter is that it's at the very edges. Okay, so that's that part of it. The next step for painter's tape, which I didn't do on the first one, but I've done on others, was, and it was something that was uh, advised, oh, I can't remember, one of the, someone that does the boring. She turned around and said, rub the edge down tight. Really rub it and press it to stop the epoxy from getting in and under which will also stop the paint from getting in and under. But don't push that in. Don't push that, that part in. So what you've end up with is tight here, but loose on this one, so then went out of focus. So loose on this end, so you can lift it when you are ready to pull it off. So that's that end, do the same for the other, and I'll do the same for the sides. See it again? 
pressing it down, making sure that that is firmly down. Okay, I will fast forward it here and I'll do the uh, other sides and then I will get back to the next step. Definitely a 30 by 40. When I did <coughs> Hey Diddle Diddle, I didn't cut at all. <coughs> when I did the, excuse me, when I did the cup, I cut one row off and one row off the top. One off the top, one off the side. Which still was too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one off the top and bottom, one off the top, uh, one off the each side. And glasses on <laughs> so that then I can see properly. I, when I did the cut before, so I didn't take you through it, what I did was I used the ruler initially, but then I found that I really disturbed some of the drills. And so all I am doing, if I can get my um, Exacto knife, there we go. Uh, down hard enough to start the cut there first. And like I've just dislodged one of my drills, but that's okay because that one's going to go anyway. And that's the biggest thing to keep an eye out for is dislodging drills. Oh, by God, I am going to try with the ruler more to hold, more to hold it. Once you get there, once I found that once I started the cut, the drills actually uh, led the way, and the ruler was more. Okay, so there we go. It's coming off now, and the ruler was more to hold the diamond painting steady. Okay, so how do we go? Is there a bit there? There we go, so there we go. That is one row of drills. Next step, what I do have is the canvas, all painted, I've got that under there just to put some weight on it, painted, taped, and I now have, uh, and I have the diamond painting has been cut to size. So what you'll see is you can just see the black outline, top and bottom, so I, um, Oops, sorry, I bumped you. Um, what I do need to do though is if you, let's get that right. Okay, what I did do is I ended up affecting the edge. So I need to do something with that. 
Now I've got two options. I can put some paint on it. Or what I am going to do is take the easy way out and a oops might help I don't worry you can see it you can see the difference I've just used a sharpie pen try PVA craft glue and please focus let's put some paper behind it okay there we go and get my hands out of the way so <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Bonds wood, paper and other craft material dries clear. So that's just crafter's choice. Um, I'm going to give this a go, see how it goes. paper down, I have my shooter cuts and blue tack on. So we'll see how this works because what I want to do didn't think this one through did I? Okay, this will have to do it. That there, that there, that there. And whoops. Let's get these lined up. That one, that one lined up, that one lined up, and that one lined up. Okay. So I've now got these under there. This is keeping this upright. What I've just done is I've got the foam boards underneath, the shooter cups with the um, blue tack. So that's going to hold that nice and flat. The next step is though, getting this little baby level. Okay, which is why I've got the blue tack. Um, I need to bring that. Where are the blue tack bits? Down a bit. That side down a bit. Uh, down a little bit. Okay, that is um, pretty good. Pretty good on the way of level. What I have done is I have mixed my A and my B, and I have my cup. Haven't mixed. I have measured. Let's get that wording right. Let's pour the B first, so the hardener first. So what's now? Today, I'm still the 2nd of April. I do like to say the date because uh, at the moment, when I, it gives a good idea of the time I work between stuff. So it's the 2nd of April, it's now 9 o'clock. I have actually done one filming for my fortnightly vlog. So, I've done 
one one episode and you got to see my face that was hard work okay so now i've done the b the heart is in i'll do the a and then once this is in i will need to stir it for three minutes what i'm doing with this one because i lost the sparkle on the rounds i'm actually going to put some very very fine glitter into this coat of resin um, okay and i haven't skimped on my pour as uh, on my quantities at all this is straight out 190 heart partner 190 of the resin so part a and part b 190 mils of each hey siri hey siri siri set timer three minutes to put in and hopefully that's enough that's plenty see it sitting on the top I'm just going to mix that through that should give it a bit of a bit of a sparkle because we all like the sparkle in the diamond paintings I don't want to put too much in just in case it's an overkill and I can, if I do a second coat, what I can do is um, either add, I could add more sparkle if I, if I feel like it needs it. Okay, so all mixed and ready to go. And it's just a case of pouring it on. Oh. Yeah. How's it looking there above? Can't really see it from above, can you? Oh. Okay, so the resin is on. What I'm do is get it out to the sides, spread it around, and they aren't. And it is going over the edges, which I was expecting, which is what I actually do want. That's all the resin going in. I don't want any left over. And I'm actually going to go put that down. And I'm actually going to go with my hands. I want this resin to go right over to the edges. I, just, I need the edges to be wet to encourage it a little bit. And now to push it out to make sure these ends are covered so the drills are covered on the end. So this is self-leveling. So whatever I put on here, this is just going to... Gosh, look at all that resin on, the, on here. 
This is why you make sure you have a clean surface underneath. You're going to pick up the resin from the sides that's stripped off. I want to make sure it's all clean and clear. Okay. So that is basically it for putting the resin on. I'm going to take these gloves off. I'll leave my blue ones on. So I put that in the bin. Didn't grab my flamethrower. Oh no, there it is. Okay, and I've just taken off my right hand glove. Because what I've got is the flamethrower, and I don't know if I explained that before. The torch is, um, the resin actually does, when you mix it, does have bubbles in it. And generally they come up, but the heat actually makes it come up, um, makes, just pops them a bit more. And I don't know if you can, I think you're probably too high to see it. Some use a heat gun um, to do this bit. Um, I don't know where the hairdryer works. I don't think anyone's... I've seen people use hairdryers, but that's more when they're trying to spread the acrylic around or the paint colours around. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um... What I'm now doing, I'm looking, I'm looking at, I'm looking, I'm coming down this level, so down here, and I'm looking on an angle to see if I can spot any, anything, any flunk or dust or any bubbles that I might need to get out. Gosh, this looks good. I do like the look of this one. This one's turned out beautifully. He will need another coat. I can just see it on here. I think he will need another coat. Uh, maybe if I can pick enough up from the sides. Just to make sure that's filled. I could use the paddle pop sticks, stirring sticks. But I've got more control, more um, got better ability with my hands to deal with it. Underneath where it drips off, I'm running my finger along where the painter's tape is. So just to try and get some of those drips off, because getting those drips off is actually quite a lot of resin coming off that. with him. I am impressed. This one's actually going to look good. And because I put the glitter on it, I reckon I'm going to get really good sparkle. So just one more go at trying to see if I can get any bubbles out. Which I am seeing some more pop. Just going from different angles, and just those different angles, I'm seeing bubbles. Oh, wow! I I am 
terribly excited about this one. <laughs> In case you can't tell, I'm just going to flame the edges. There is something right there. There is something right there that's just not right. I don't know what it is. Oh, whatever it was, it's gone now. Just looking for any, still, I'm still looking. There's still, I want to see if there's still any more bubbles that need to come out. I'm also looking for any dust particles that might be sitting on the top. Without, you know, some of these things that are sitting on the top could possibly be the glitter. Oh, wow. <laughs> How many times do you think I can say wow? Did you count them all? Go back and re-watch and count them. Put in your comments. Actually, I might put a comment at the end of it to say there were 60,000 wells. What I think I'm seeing is some bubbles coming up from inside the canvas, actually, because possibly because I haven't sealed it, maybe there's a bit of. Um, when they do go and touch that up again um, maybe because it's not sealed okay. but I can see some bits I can see here along this edge um, I can see where um, what is the fraying has come through. I can actually see that has um, come up on the edge. And I think I do have I do have some drills sitting up which um, means I will be putting it uh, with the frame, frayed edges and the drills coming up on that edge, I will be doing another coat. I will be sanding it back to do another coat. And I will torch this, torch the edges. One last torch. Can't see anything popping now. Whoops. That one got stuck on. <laughs> okay, so. There we go, that's him. Just take another lot of... Just trying to get any some more resin off the underside of that. But, looking good. I don't know how well you can see it there. Uh, I'll take the glove off. In. Um, so he looks really good I'm really happy with him I know I will need to sand here so this will get um, three days time 72 hours before I can sand however I will just spotted something I will come back in about half an hour Did you see that? <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. I just burnt that bit a little bit. Um. Come on, don't do that to me. I held it on there too long. That's okay, it's still good.
and cause a little bit of smoke in so that's one thing I didn't do is make sure all those corners have plenty of resin on them that's good Well, oh, this is just so wonderful. <laughs> it's so funny to play with this stuff. I could probably touch it for ages, but drying time, I need to put that into consideration, just gas the edges one more time. And that's it. So now I will leave that one alone and come back in about 30 minutes and uh, check it out. So, hey Siri. Hey Siri, set timer 30 minutes. So okay, 30 minutes is up, and here we go. Actually, I'll stop you right there. Okay, so covers off, and I just went and wrapped my phone. So I'm just looking, you're looking at this in two ways. One is directly through the top. But what I will show you is down on the bottom, so you can see what I'm looking at. So you can see here I've still got raised bits of drills, and I've still got raised bits of drills here. If I put it on an angle, you can probably see it. Oh, not too bad. However, look at how smooth that side is. That's smooth. Let's see how this, oh, we can see a little bit of raised. So I will need to do a second coat, but I am happy with this. And can you see where I put the glitter in? There is just a little bit of sparkle to it. So, can you see the little bits of glitter? So I probably could have gone a bit heavier on the glitter. Okay, I'm just gonna turn off the overhead light. Like that. Now I hope I'm not getting you dizzy here. So my step for here, which is where you're actually going to see a bit more, is running my finger along the bottom. Reasonably firmly. And what that's doing is getting resin. So I'll actually do it this way. I'm getting resin the drips off the bottom that is on the painter's tape. Okay. And do those ones. And hold your camera at the same time as doing something. It's a very delicate art. Okay, so there he is there. Just You're getting mine, sorry, from my window. I'm going to stop this recording now because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get down a level here and have a look at um, this better. But hang on. Bo. Hey buddy. Hello. There we go. You see my little boy? Hello. So there we go. You got to see my bubble. My bubble. Right. Just coming down now. I'm just looking to see if I can spot any. 
any fluff or hairs or anything that looks like might be a bubble or anything like that. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Uh, or does it? There you go. I need to turn that bottom on now. And I actually need to aim it directly at, so sorry if there's some glare. I think you can see something here. I can, but I can't. Doesn't make any sense, I know. But, okay. So, tomorrow morning, yeah, I can really see the drills here now. But, yeah, anyway, tomorrow morning, um, I will remove the papers tape off the bottom have a look at it um, and uh, we'll, we will have a look and go from there. So uh, see you shortly. Here we go 24 hours or well, nearly 24 hours later and I have first coat is set. I do need to wait another two more days um, before I can do anything further with it because it's still a little bit tacky. But have a look, how good does that look? Now that is with glitter in it. There's a little bit of glitter. I was nervous about how much glitter to put in there. It's not really, you can see it a little bit sparkling through, but not much. So I will be doing a second coat. Um, as you can see, I did have, this is where I actually didn't believe that I'd have any issues with. This is the frayed edge. Um, if you look at the other edge, this has come up absolutely beautiful along here. So next steps from this is to actually, I'll put it that way. How's that? There we go. Uh, next step is to remove this tape. So as you can see, the tape see the drips even though I wiped quite a lot of the drips off well, that is the drips that need to I need to remove that tape and just trying to cut that one right now because this is when I did it did the other one it was really hard set this is still a bit soft which means I'm going to be able to lift this up a lot easier without, well I think when I pulled the last one off, when I tore it off it was um, shush buddy um, it was brittle and I did crack the end, so you can see it, you can see the drips on there that's what this tape does, it protects so I'll take this off gently take it off And this side, one under that. And as you can see, because I applied the tape, tape there. Because I applied the tape before I did the back black edges, I have it neat on the back. Okay, oops. oops. This is coming up nice and easily because it's soft. Just cut that edge there. Oops. So what happens when you cut where you can't see? Just cut the canvas. I will resolve that with a bit of glue. Okay. there. 
So there we go, that's the painter's tape off. Got a nice edge. So my canvas just looks clean on the back. Um, and all this tape with all the glue on it. Whoops, the resin is on it. Uh, I'm just rolling that up into a ball. Just going to put the light on and I'll see if I can... I don't know if you can see the glitter sparkle or not. I can see it a little bit in the camera. Okay, so next steps for this is for it to dry. So in about two, three days, I will be, come back. I will give this a sand, um, sand it down, um, just to get rid of all that rough edging. And I will then reapply the tape on the back. And because I sand it, I'll probably affect this black on the edge, so I will also paint that. But he, because I had him raised, he hasn't dipped in the edge on the inside. So he is beautiful. Um, but yeah, the second coat will have uh, more glitter in it. Actually, there we go. The glitter's actually, you can see a bit sparkling. So that's how you can keep your sparkle if you're going to resin it. Um, resining it, I'm not going to have any drills popping off, I can tell you that much. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, next steps coming up. Okay, so next steps, um, I've, this was poured, I had the rough edges, so what I've done is I've gotten to and sanded and repainted fresh painters tape down so my next job from this is to level and fresh paper down nice and clean now this time with doing it <laughs> Peter Pan a tiny feet at the door this time I'm doing it I'm not putting that piece inside of it so I'm doing is glue tack onto where the painter's tape is. Actually, I might actually put it there. And I'm not going to get. Okay. So, I'm going to put them up that way for you. Just trying to work out the best spot to put this. Because I've got to get this level. Okay, let's see if that's better. Just going to get the cups down straight. Okay, so now. That's better. That's better. So here we go. Here comes the so red. Whoops. What I'm doing is now leveling. Because I've got the blue tack underneath, it is all that's required is just the Pushing down. Do, do, do. Okay, and let's see how it is. Yep. Okay. So I'm happy with that level. So next steps are straight out hundred. 190 mil of both of my heart resins and um, mix it up 
I'll put some glitter in. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I will actually mix up the art resin off camera. Uh, but it is the um, same as before, 90, 190, 190, mixed together, stir for three minutes. So I'll be back with you once that mixing has been done. Some of that in there. See how that goes, how that looks. Whoops. Okay, okay. So I'll just give that another stir up. So, I don't know if the camera's going to capture that, the glitter's there, it's absolutely super fine glitter, um, it's called fine multi glitter and I have had this glitter since before I got married, uh, which is more than 25 years ago. So I don't know where you would get it from, <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. So I'm just going to pour this on. And this is actually spreading nicely this time. Just want to hold some back in the cup. Just keep a little bit more in the cup. And spread this out. Scrape that, put that aside, and that come the spatula. Probably should just use my hands because then I can control it a lot more. But I've got to go on with the hands. Okay. So this is. I've said it before, self-leveling. What I'm going to do is get it out to the edges. I mean, I'll probably let it sit. I'm not going to do too much to it this time. Last time I poked and prodded it. This time it's just push it out to the edges. Give it some guidance on where I want the liquid to go. Cover that um, and 
come back in about half an hour. So, hey Siri, set timer 30 minutes. So I will be back in 30 minutes and fingers crossed my partner will stay out of this. If I need to touch it up um, and he decides that he wants in, he is going to have to put up with being on the camera. Okay, it's been approximately 30 minutes. I'm going to have a quick look. Okay, so he looks really good. <laughs> oh, looks better than I was um, hoping for. Uh, I will say I have still got that little section. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that. I've got glue tack in resin. Okay. So I'm just going to try and get some of this, get out of the way of the You can tell that my table is actually not level. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dribble some more resin on that edge. Just to try and Help that out. Bear with me while I concentrate and don't talk. Alrighty. -o. So I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to put the blowtorch on it. It's really funny touching the, the resin with only one glove on the cover of my hand. Okay, just make sure those corners are good and covered. Just a bit extra on the edges. Do what I can not to get my sleeve. You know, okay. Oh, yeah. But all in all, that doing that um, I am really happy with this. Really happy. Oh my gosh. Turn out mess. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to get two and put the flame tower on that. Just to clean up those edges. Oh, that's what I didn't do. That's got that edge looking really good. And the one job that I wanted to do that I forgot to do, okay, which I do with my right hand, with a bit of control with my right, is just getting the resin off the underside where the painter's tape is.
can't stop myself from dribbling it on that corner. I just not that corner I'm not happy with. What I'm actually gonna do. Well it's like that. Just give that a bit of a tail tilt. What do you think? Looking shiny? You probably can't see how shiny it's looking due to the fact that it's still as I'm moving. I do like it, it's pretty cool. Okay, so probably back in about an hour, hour and a half, and we'll see how we're going. Okay, and um Second, this is completed. Um, second coat done, set. I've uh, still got about another 48 hours for this to dry fully. But what I have done, I've ripped up the tape. I am so impatient, I need to learn to record some things. So I've pulled up the tape and you see, there's still a little bit of tape here. Um, but otherwise, because the way I taped it, I had that really nice edge. And uh, all the way around, that looks good. And it's solid in there. Ready for the reveal? Oh, yep, he's upside, he's up the right way. <gasps> Look at this. Apologies on some of the light reflection. I'll just shut my blind. So now you've only got the light from here. Okay, so here he is. He is done. I've put glitter in it. So I still have sparkle. Because that's one of the things I like about diamond painting. And. Okay. So, very happy. I'm just going to turn this sideways so you can really get good effect. Oh it's the weekend it's the weekend hang on I'm just going to try and zoom out I'll see if you can get to see more okay so there he is completed look at that he's got a gorgeous sparkle to him uh, which is what the glitters managed to keep if I go around the edges so this is the edge for those that looked at watch my other one um, my first testing, there was rough edges. Hang on, back in a sec. I did go and yell at those kids. They, they, they're quietened down by themselves. What I did do is go and grab my one of my, the one that I went, no, nah, I'm not keeping it going. I'm going to do a comparison here. If I lift this up and see the edges. So what we've got is a rough edge here and this hasn't, on properly whereas this is beautiful and smooth um, so that's the difference so you can see now we're zooming in I've got that beautiful clear there and then you can see how rough this is so the bottom one was my major flopsy and now if I see how I'm See where the light is reflecting you can actually see the drills so that's where um that's why i wasn't happy with this one because uh just and decided not to waste any more time on it this was my learning piece so i this is the one where i didn't cut it at all i used spray glue underneath and i didn't support the inside the underside so I didn't have that tight which has caused it to droop and need lots more resin so that's that one that's why there's such a difference so yet again I'll just pick it up so the edge difference 
Can you see what I'm trying to achieve? I don't want that rough, I want that smooth, which is where taking it in two edges, two drills, one side, one each side, and then zoom in. Okay, you can see that, you can really see that now. That's where it raised, and this is just beautiful and smooth. Okay, so that's the difference, and this one, this is a keeper, or maybe it's a giver, I might give it away as a gift, I'll see how I feel. So hopefully that's helped you if you're looking at doing resin on anything. Um, my, I do have a couple of big projects to do with the resin art. I'm going to be painting a seascape that's coming up, but you'll see more of these as I tackle bigger projects. I've got some big ones that I really do need to work on, um, and they won't go on. They won't fit on canvas frames. I also have a special drill so the lion that i did with the special drills on it i've got to give him a i've got to work out what to do with him whether he just gets framed or whether i put him under resin or what i don't know what to do with him um but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed that process and it's given you some thought as to what and my camera's going blurry on his eyes trying to focus on too much trust me his eyes are not blurry so it's just my eyesight doing it <laughs> now I can <clears throat> I can look at this dude for ages so my next <clears throat> thing with this one is actually to do something to create a hanging so I can hang it and um, it'll go up on the wall either my place or family member place so thank you for watching please um, like dislike subscribe hit the bell leave a comment i'm loving people's comments um so yeah um this was a really good experience so i'll talk to you next time bye